Superin, tentang City High. Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing well today. I'm Eduardo Hibaya, your cookery teacher, and I'm welcome you all to TLE Cookery Class. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss the first module for our first quarter, which is clean, sanitize, and store kitchen tools and equipment. After going through this lesson, we are expected to Identify the chemicals to be utilized in cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools and equipment. Prepare cleaning agents in accordance with manufacturer's instruction. Clean and sanitize kitchen tools in accordance with prescribed standards and store clean kitchen tools and equipment safely in the designated space. It's time to clean up have you tried cleaning your kitchen? Which part of the kitchen must be cleaned regularly? What cleaning agents do you normally use in cleaning your kitchen? This time, let us try to identify chemicals to be utilized in cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools and equipment. What is cleaning? Cleaning is the process of removing food and other types of soil from a surface, such as a dish, glass, or a cutting board. Cleaning is done with a cleaning agent that removes food, soil, or other substances. The right cleaning agent must be selected because not all cleaning agents can be used on food contact surfaces. Cleaning is the process of removing unwanted substances such as dirt, infectious agents, and other impurities from an object or environment. Cleaning occurs in many different contexts and uses many different methods. That's why we will discuss to you the method in cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools and equipment. Here are the different cleaning agents in cleaning kitchen tools and equipment. Detergents, solvent cleaners, acid cleaners, abrasives. Any agent that helps in the removal of soil is called a cleaning agent. Maybe either natural or synthetically developed. They are generally classified as water detergents, abrasives, degreasers, acid cleaners, organic solvents, and other cleaning agents. Let's start with detergents. These are cleaning agents, solvents, or any substance used to wash tableware, surfaces, and equipment. Example, soap, soap powders, cleaners, acids, volatile solvents and abrasives. Detergent is a substance that used for cleaning. It is similar to soap, but it's stronger and dissolves more completely in water. Detergents are special powerful cleansers that can break up dirt, oils, and grease on dishes. Detergents used in cleaning kitchenware silverware, and chinaware, and any other kitchen tools. It can also be used in kitchen surfaces or your kitchen worktops. Next is solvent cleaners. Solvent cleaners commonly referred to as degreasers, used on surfaces where grease has burned on. 
Ovens and drills are examples of areas that need frequent degreasing. These products are alkaline-based and formulated to dissolve grease. Solvent cleaners are a substance capable of dissolving a solute to form a cleaning or degreasing solution. They are used for a number of industrial strength applications. Solvent cleaners used for cleaning oven tops and barbecue grills. Next is acid cleaners. Used periodically in removing mineral deposits and other soils that detergents cannot eliminate, such as kale in washing machines and steam tables. Line build up on these washing machines and rest on shelving. Example, phosphoric acid, nitric acid. Acid cleaners are used to dissolve hard water deposits, remove mild rustings, and eliminate soap film from around the sink and on shower doors. They are useful in removing tarnish from brass and copper. Acid cleaners used for cleaning steam table, dish washing machine, and sink and drain. The last one is abrasives. Abrasives are generally used to remove heavy accumulations of soil that are difficult to remove with detergents, solvents, and acids. These products must be carefully used to avoid damage to the surface being cleaned. Abrasive cleaners are designed to remove relatively heavy amount of soil. They were of dirt, stains, varnish, and hard water deposits by scraping them away. Abrasive cleaner used for cleaning kitchen floors and kitchen walls. Have you tried making your own cleaning products? Aside from using cleaning agents such as detergents, solvent cleaners, acid cleaners, and abrasives, you can do your own cleaning products. Try making your own antoxic cleaners at home. It's easy. Basic ingredients found in your kitchen can be used to make non-toxic cleaners for your different cleaning needs. The following are cleaning agents that can be found and prepared at home in accordance with the manufacturer's instruction with the following specific purposes. For cleaning kitchen counters, stoves, and the inside of refrigerator, here are the needed ingredients. Baking soda, warm water, lemon. Instructions 1. Make a paste of baking soda, lemon, and water. 2. Apply it with damp cloth and rub gently in the direction of the metal screen. And 3. Rinse and dry. For cleaning greasy inner part of pots and pans, here are the needed ingredients. Vinegar, baking soda. Instructions 1. Soak and scrub with hot water. 2. Sprinkle baking soda in the pan. 3. Spray with vinegar. 4. Scrub with a sponge to remove burnt on. For cleaning stainless steel utensils, here are the needed ingredients. Lemon juice or white vinegar. Instructions 1. Clean utensils using lemon juice if you are running out of time. 2. You can also spray some vinegar on your steel utensils and rub it with a cloth in circular motion. For cleaning dish cleaner, plastic containers, and silver utensils, here are the needed ingredients. Salt, water, vinegar, and lemon. Instructions 1. Cut the lemons into small pieces with a peel on. 2. Mix them with salt in a bowl. 3. Add in the rest of the ingredients and mix well. 4. Pour it over a pan and stir it on heat for 15 minutes with a wooden spatula. Number 5. Pour it in a bowl and let it cool. A clean kitchen is mandatory for a healthy environment. The kitchen is where people prepare their food and as such, high standards for personal and environmental hygiene must be followed. Whether at home or in a restaurant, it is always important to keep high levels of cleanliness in the kitchen. 
the kitchen, more than any other location, is the room most prone to the growth and development of disease, causing bacteria and pests. Here are the steps in cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools in accordance with prescribed standards. Number 1. Scrape all the large pieces of food on the dishes and place it in a compost bin or garbage can. Remove leftover fat, oil, grease, and food waste from plates, pots, pans, and cooking equipment prior to rinsing or washing. Use paper towels if needed to wipe greasy dishes and pans before rinsing, washing by hand, or placing in the dishwasher to scrape food into the garbage or food recycling containers. Number 2. Fill the sink with warm to hot water and antibacterial detergent. After pre-scraping, soak your utensils in a sink or a large container filled with warm to hot water and antibacterial detergent. Washing dishes in hot water actually lifts away food and grime from dirty dishes, which reduces the amount of time and you have to spend scrubbing. Number 3. Use a clean sponge or brush to scrub each item thoroughly to make sure that you have removed all bits of food and getting into all the little hard-to-reach areas. So these are cleaning materials used in cleaning dishes. Number 4. To sanitize kitchen utensils, use hot water method. Soak dishes completely covered in 170 degrees Fahrenheit water for at least 30 seconds. Remove dishes and allow to completely air dry. Use gloves or utensils to remove dishes from hot water. If you need to be thoroughly sanitizing kitchen tools and equipment to ensure there is no chance of any bacteria, put your utensils in a large pan, covering them fully in water. Carefully bring the water to the boil, putting a lid on the pan. Remove the lid and wait for the water to stop boiling before removing the utensil. How do you store kitchen tools and equipment after cleaning? Here are the ways of storing kitchen tools and equipment in the designated safe space. Number 1. Newly washed utensils should be dried first before you store it in places like drawers and cupboards. Number 2. Dinnerware includes items that you use for eating and drinking, cutleries can be stored in a plastic container organizer. Number 3. Plates that are used occasionally can be stored in cabinets. Use paper padding when you stack plates to prevent the items from scratches. Number 4. If you have cupboards or hanging cabinets at home, make use of the bottom part of it by adding hooks for cups and mugs. Number 5. Bowls and glasses can be stored in cabinets, shelves, trays, or racks. Place the items facing down or inverted for storage and cover it with a clean cloth. Number 6. Steelware, cooking utensils like ladles, rice scoops, tongs, and frying fork can be stored hanging ladle cradle near the stove or near the kitchen sink. Number 7. Cooking ware like pots, pans, and kettles can be hung in cooks or in some kitchens under the sink. Number 8. Knives can be kept in a drawer. You can also place them on a wooden knife blocks or ducks and in some modern kitchens. That would be our lesson in module 1. I hope you learned something new. I hope to see you in our next lesson. This is your teacher Glidal saying, Putak at puso, patak, sitihay.